Good morning fellow woodworkers, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to build this pet bunny cage for yourself. The dimensions are totally variable. I'm going to present to you the plants that I came up with in Fusion 360 a while ago, at least um, part of the plants. I'm going to explain everything to you step by step such that you can build one for yourself if you're interested in a model like this. It has doors that you can open up. The size is completely variable because we are not using stuff like um, screws or bolts or the like. All of this has just been created with very basic joinery. I'm still a woodworking beginner so I'm uh, still trying around with everything so building this thing is also basically beginner difficulty. So with a few simple tools you can build yourself something like this too and I hope you are going to enjoy the video. As always please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more DIY videos and woodworking tips and now we are going to dive right in. While building the bunny's home, I decided to stray away from my original plans and provide them with a second floor too, which is going to come up here. But the original ideas were still being used, even though the plans are not accurate anymore. Both the first and the second floor need an identical wooden frame, which you can see here, which will later be covered in planks, at least for the first floor completely, and for the second floor we are going to use a partial covering with planks. The outer dimensions for the frames I used were 150cm by 40cm, so to get started we need 4 40cm and 4 150cm wooden planks. I'm using spruce wood for the build by the way. So as easy as that I marked down the lengths I needed and used my mitre saw to cut them to their respective sizes. By the way, the link to all the tools that I'm using during the creation of the cage can be found down there in the description. So if you're interested in any of these, definitely make sure to check these out. As mentioned at the start of the video, we'll be using only simple joinery to fix everything in place. The frames I built only require a simple 45 degree joint as you can see right here in my plant, which we'll glue together later. So once again I use my trusty miter saw, gosh I love that thing, it's such a useful tool, to cut out the 45 degree angles right at the ends of each and every plank. And before I went on to the next steps I made sure that all of the planks were still cut to the same length. Taking too much off with the miter saw could easily result in joints that are not connected properly, so make sure to always keep that little point in mind. Now next comes the most interesting part about the build. As mentioned at the start of the video, we are not going to use any kind of screws or nails or whatsoever to hold the whole structure together. So how would you install the floor planks which are going to come into each and every floor? Very easily, but using a pretty ingenious method if you ask me. So for the floor panels we are going to make use of so-called profiled wood. It has a nice property that it's very easy connectable. You can connect it using the built-in groove together with the tank that we are going to get here. Now connecting these is pretty easy, but how are you going to connect the floor panels to the frame that we are going to build? Well, I answer that for you, namely using my router table. We are going to make use of the router to put inside of the frame another groove. And this groove is going to be, so my profiled wood has a thickness of 12.5 millimeters and accidentally, incidentally, I had a 13 millimeters um, bit lying around for my router and then we can just put a groove inside of our frame parts and then we can put our profiled wood into here. And it's going to be very stable overall, it's going to work like a charm. We are going to route two short and two long planks for now, which make up the first floor. But for the second floor, we need to be a bit more careful though. Taking a look at the first plants that I created, the second floor is going to go up here. Now, for the second floor, we also needed a frame such like for the first floor. But here's the big difference. The second floor will only go into this part right here. Just half of the cage is going to be covered with a second floor. Meaning what we are going to do is we are only going to put a groove right into one half of the frame that we got right here and then we are going to cut ourselves another plank which is going to go inside of the groove too. This other plank that we are going to cut is also going to have a groove in there such that we can fit all the planks into the second floor too. Meaning this little middle plank that we need to put in here needs to have a length of 33 centimeters plus a few centimeters which are going to go into the groove which we are going to cut with the router into here. 
After getting myself the middle plank of length 35 cm, I went on and placed it right in the middle of the second floor frame that I laid out on the floor. After marking down the position of the middle bar on my two longer frame planks, I went ahead and once again cut grooves into them, just like on the first floor. I now proceeded to mark down the parts that I need to cut off from the middle bar in order for me to get a tongue. Please note that from the 33 cm I put two additional centimeters onto the middle bar, meaning we got one centimeter of depth for the tongue. And after that I went ahead and used the handsaw to get the job finally done. After making sure that the tongue fit perfectly, I went ahead and cut the final growth into the middle bar. And then I looked if it would fit into the upper frame. Now we are finally at the point where we can go ahead and get started with cutting out the floor panels. Now here we need to be a bit careful. Just like with the middle bar, we need a length of 33 centimeters being covered on the inside of the frame. But since we have a growth going on on both sides, we need an additional, really depends on the depth of your growth, in my case one centimeters on each and every side such that they can fit into here. Meaning we need a lot of panels which are going to cover all of this floor and half of the upper floor with a length of 35 centimeters each. Cutting all of them to size went down really smoothly using the mitre saw as always and after that I was taking a look at if all the ones that I cut out were actually enough to fill up the whole floors. I noticed that on both floors I still needed one more which wasn't a full one so I had to cut two more out using the mitre saw and then I had to reduce their basically base size. So from the 12 centimeters that they originally had to like 6 centimeters or something. Really depends on your build though. And oh boy, I tell ya, that shit is stable as fuck. Really doesn't need any glue whatsoever at this point. I mean, yeah, for the 45 degree joints, obviously. But other than that, the, the grooves in the tongues just absolutely perfectly work together. Before I could go home to glue everything up, I still wanted to cut out the 6 legs I needed to size. As you can see in Fusion, we need 4 with a length of 98 centimeters and 2 with a length of 60 centimeters each. Once that was done, I went back home and started putting all floor panels and frame parts together and used glue on the 45 degree corner joints. And let me tell you something, putting everything in place was awful as fuck, but I managed to get it done anyways. I held everything together using the spray and frame tensioner by Wolfcraft and some clamps. Such a useful tool. Everyone should have one of these lying around in their workshop somewhere. Makes your life so much damn easier. And this concludes day one as well as part one of building the bunny cage, which is stop a Japanese puzzle. God damn it. <laughs> I hope you did enjoy what you have seen thus far. This has been my first longer building DIY video here on this channel with the first bigger project and I hope you did enjoy the basically video format I came up with. It differs wildly from the stuff I do over on Flamble Maths because um, first and foremost I'm a maths YouTuber actually. Um, but yeah, I still enjoy do, doing woodworking and I hope you are going to stick to the channel for the next time. Once the next part is out for the video, you can find the link down there in the description as well as other relevant links like the tools I've been using during the creation of the video, video equipment, etc. Or maybe details I forgot um, while editing the video and I would like to add some new stuff um, afterwards. But other than that, if you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to support the channel by, well, going over to my Patreon page, become a Patreon supporter or maybe check out stemage.eu my shop where I sell handcrafted wood products and the like. And yeah, what else can I say? Please subscribe to the channel, recommend the channel and up to the next video I wish you guys a flamble day. Please stay safe. Ciao!